Well, hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scar here, bringing you another great fun time episode of Scar as we continue to build this amazing under the sea house where we will build our coral reef in the front yard to finish this project. So let's get this episode underway. All right, and welcome back. And it's good to have you here for our very last building episode. So I mentioned last week that it was our last building within the house, but we do need to do a little bit of sprucing up out front. So as you can see, I've stacked up some sand here or there and uh, just try to get a little uh, basic uh, lay down here so we can start to kind of add some of the fun details and things like that. So let's head real quick inside. And we talked about updating these hallways in our previous episode. So let's come on in here and give, let me let me know what you guys think of the, uh, the changes here. So I ran a strip of hardened clay on the ground and I added these pots and, you know, some of these extra little uh, details up here because, as you know, the house is alive and it's growing around us. So, you know, I decided to kind of chop into this wall a little bit and add some more seaweed from here. And I think it really kind of livens up the uh, entryway to our house. So let me know what you guys think of that and if any changes you guys want to make before we finish it up. And it's very lively out here today. Very lively with sea life. But um, let's get started with some uh, basic... Uh, walkways here so what we want to do is we have a bit limited so I would love to put some seaweed down here like we did in the house but uh, unfortunately if we were to add a plant to the water in here it would create these little waterfalls like you see under there and you see on the windows unfortunately but Hopefully, maybe, maybe someday they'll fix that and we could come back and add some seaweed, but uh, I think this will be pretty cool. So what I want to do here is just create kind of a meandering path going from from about, about this level here up into the house. And then surrounding this, we'll add all sorts of kind of coral sculptures and different things like that. Um, I don't know really how it's going to go. Uh, this is kind of a play it by ear episode, so hopefully it all works and uh, we get something nice out of it. That's, well, that's the goal at least. This episode or this series of videos has been so much fun. We've really kind of pushed the, uh, the realm of design and kind of really original. Like this house, I've never seen anything like it before and I really hope you guys like it, liked it and that the, uh, you know, some of the designs, you know, colors and different things of that nature weren't everybody's favorite, but like we talked about before, you know, it was a theme, you know, we were going for that underwater design and uh, trying to have the house be alive and kind of growing around us. So that was the kind of the theme and I hope you guys liked it and kind of the theme behind it. I would like to do more themed houses, you know, give like a, a particular theme and then try to execute on to that. Um, what theme houses have you guys built? You know, most of our houses we built were just kind of standard houses that you might uh, find in a neighborhood or something. But uh, this is the first one that's more had a, that a theme, like I was saying. And I was wondering, what, what theme houses have you guys built in the past? So let me know, let me know, and give me some ideas for some future themed houses. All right, there we go. A lot of people build, you know, we built um, modern houses, but I would like to do like a, a really kind of like not I want to I want to say futuristic house but um, that's kind of modern so what I really mean to say I guess is kind of like a retro 60s style house if that makes any sense so something maybe you would find in a like something you would think of like an old Tomorrowland at Disneyland design something from the 60s I think that might be fun I think that might be, what in the world Oh, those guardians are just killing them one after another. They're just dropping their ink sacks right on top of our heads. But um, yeah, those are some ideas. Um, we will be building this more house pretty soon, I think. I think that's pretty much going to be our next build. Unless I get some other crazy inspiration and I'm like, oh boy, we got to build this one. But um, yeah, most likely it will. I've built a, a prototype of this more house. One day I was just like, I need something to build. And I was just kind of tinkering around and... Um, so I have a pretty good prototype of the s'more house built already. So the reason it's called the s'more house is it's made out of dark chocolate and uh, light milk chocolate, which are the spruce and the dark oak. And then it has a bit of quartz mixed into it. So it looks like a delicious s'more. So um, that's kind of the theme a little bit um, of that house is it's a modern house. It's um, got a lot of space, but not a ton of bedrooms. 
there's only about, uh, I think I'm counting about three bedrooms on the upper level, plus an office. I believe we can fit an office or whatever we want in there. It doesn't have to be an office. And uh, two bathrooms on the upper level. But it's got a lot of space on the lower levels for all sorts of, uh, you know, unique and different types of builds. I'm looking forward to that. Um, yeah, so that's uh, the next project. The Skyline Roller Coaster starts pretty quick. Um, when we get these bridges all kind of complete so that the, you know, the fishing cabin can then meet up with the rest of Scarland and then that's good. So when we actually start the, uh, Scarland roller coaster project, um, to keep things from getting too bland because there's going to be a lot of repetitive building in that series because we're going to build a lot of track and a lot of support structures and different things like that. Um, I want to mix in some other episodes like I want to build those snow capped mountains, you know, maybe one week, you know, we take a quick break from the roller coaster and do that, you know, just to keep things fresh. And I think that'll uh, be fun. So there's quite a few different episodes. I will be starting the live stream pretty soon again. And uh, I think one of the things I want to do coming up is fight some of the uh, things in Scarland. I've never fought the Ender Dragon. I've never even been to the end in Scarland. Uh, I've tried to look for it three times. Never found it. I worry sometimes that something went wrong with Scarland, you know, maybe that there's uh, some problem with the uh, the world and there's just no, uh, there's just no, no Ender Dragon. It makes, it makes me sad. Excuse me, excuse me, coming through. But um, hopefully it's still in there. You know, Scarland's a very, very old world. It's, um, you know, it was generated in, uh, in I believe, 2011, around, around March, maybe? Somewhere around there. Yeah, so it's a very old world, so... Hopefully it's there somewhere. All right, so we've got a good base built there so you can kind of see how the path will kind of meander up and soon we'll incorporate our corals. So give me one second, let me kind of catch my breath and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. And look at that, we got this area all nice and sanded down and I just wanted to work a little bit over here to kind of get you a feel of how we're doing this. So as you can see, it looks like the house is kind of growing out of the ground as the coral kind of stretches down as little tentacles looking super cool. So let's go over here and do it on the side. So get this all done here. Now for this world, I want to try to incorporate it somehow into the uh, modern house world. The problem with that world is it was built with uh, like a super large biome world. So finding different biomes of, uh, you know, when you're looking for certain particular things isn't the easiest thing in the world. So that's why I decided because I was trying to get this video done a little bit quicker than usual because I really wanted to get it out to you guys. I uh, just thought, all right, I'm just going to make a new world, look for an ocean. And um, so hopefully maybe sometime we can go back into the modern house world and uh, oh i love it um so go back into the modern house world and try to i want to i want to keep some of the structure of the house intact yeah that looks what do you guys think that looks better right having just a little bit of the structure of the house still intact but then the coral growing up against it i think that looks good so figure out how to kind of copy and paste this house into that world i guess with mc edit or something along those lines but um, I want to do that. I want to do that. So, you know, all the houses are kind of consolidated into one place because this is in a separate world than the modern house world. There we go. Ooh, yeah. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Yes, I am. And like I was talking about before, man, I want to go scuba diving. I mean, it's not, it's not practical in my condition, but sometimes you guys got to dream, you know? Guys got to dream a little bit and... Uh, Man, I, I miss being underwater. I, I don't, it's a weird thing to say. I miss being underwater. But um, I swam, like I've talked about before, my entire life. And uh, I really miss just the, the peaceful nature of sitting underwater. And, uh, you know, for a couple seconds there, you know, just before you need to breathe, of course. But, um, you know, just feeling that, like, calm serenity of being underwater. I miss that so much. All right. See how I'm kind of mixing in a few other colors of coral in here? I think that looks nice. I think that looks kind of cool. Just adds a little extra detail here or there, being kind of subtle with it a little bit. So of course we're just using the diorite or cookies and cream block and the granite and the prismarine. But um, yeah, well there you go. I think that's starting to look pretty good. So give me one second. Let me go meet with Squidward here and talk about some of our uh, neighbor problems and I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So I was working over here a little bit on some kind of unique looking uh, coral pillars right here. I think those look cool. 
And um, I just want to add a bit of some other colors in here. The red's just a little clashy sometimes. Like sometimes it's just a little too much. So I'm trying to be super subtle with it, but trying to add, you know, just a little extra color and different things in there. So it's not all just the kind of the rough uh, Prusa's Marine. And um, this is my mob grinder right here. As you can see, works excellent. Um, Squidward did die, unfortunately. I was unable to protect him. <laughs> okay, so as you can see here, we're just kind of growing this down. I want to build this section up just a little bit more, just to kind of incorporate that a little bit more into the house design. There we go, I maybe another section right there. So just trying to kind of build up this section a little bit so that looks more in scale a little bit. Alrighty, -o. so let's move on over here and let's just try to make one of these real quick. So just kind of, you know, kind of mess around with a little bit. Nothing, nothing's perfect. You know, you just try to kind of make it feel natural, like it's kind of growing around and uh, kind of a root system like a tree, just kind of grow it out a little bit like that. There we go. Similar to how we've done with some of our uh, scar oaks. Okay, there we go. There we go, put that along there. If you're unfamiliar with the scar oaks, that's my uh, favorite kind of Minecraft tree. It's kind of a take on the normal Minecraft tree, just trying to make it feel a little bit more natural. And I call it the scar oak tree. There we go. Nice, look at that. We've got these kind of little pillars leading up to the house, looking pretty darn cool. I also incorporated a little extra of the rough material here too, so it looks like it's growing on the outside. And if only, if only we could take our jungle leaves and place them out here, that'd be so cool. We could see it on the bottom, it looks awesome. Now if only they could get rid of that. Oh, if only, if only they could get rid of that. There we go, and place that. So, looking super snazzy. There we go. Awesome, wonderful. All right, so let's move on over here a little bit and incorporate maybe just a little bit more of the cookies and cream block right in this section there. Awesome, and then we can make like a little pillar just kind of poking out right here. There we go, just a small one, nothing too big. There we go. Awesome, just these little, little touches here or there can really make this thing look good. I also added this, uh, just this embankment right here a little bit, just so it's not all looking like it's all grading up towards the house. Look, make it just look like, you know, there's some banks and some little shores right there. So I think that looks pretty nice. And then from here, you know, we can also start to maybe add a coral reef kind of appearing out of this section right here. You know, it's kind of growing off of the house, but look at that. It's starting to grow a pillar right here. That's pretty cool. There we go. And put that right there. What's fun about these is there's no real wrong way. Just make them how you feel. You know, if you don't like that, chop it off a little bit, saw off a little section over here. So it's kind of fun. It's actually a lot of fun to make these. All right. So give me one second. Let me kind of catch my breath. Sorry, I keep taking little breaks here or there, but still feeling a little rough in the health department. So I'll be right back. All right, and welcome back. So I've uh, been busy, as you can see. We've uh, added quite a few little uh, coral sculptures here. I love this section right here. This is like a coral alley right up through here. It kind of flows through there, and uh, I love it. I love it. So what I've been working on here is to kind of create a little bit of depth. So by doing that, I'll build, you know, some of these, they'll get a little smaller as they get higher. So they create a little bit of force perspective and then to insert some a little deeper back just to create a little bit more depth, just so they're not just, you know, right across here. It'll take hours and hours to add, you know, these things to, um, you know, a lot more of the area over here, but we're just trying to get as many done as possible in this little bit of time. So we're just going to stick a few more here. So I might be, you know, kind of refining these. Um, a little bit more as uh, the day goes on till we do the official tour and things of that nature. But um, I just want to get, you know, the base of them all down and looking as good as possible. So the ones farther back, you know, a little less detailed and then the ones in the front. So as you can see, just adding little ones here or there, just trying to add some detail. So we need to work on one a little closer to the house. Now, I don't want to dwarf the house. I don't want to distract from it or anything of that nature. So... You know, I just don't know where to exactly put it. So I'm thinking maybe just a small one right here, even just if it's two blocks high, just if it's just like a little bit up there. So just something like that, I think, you know, we can, you know, of course, refine it and mess with it a little bit here or there. But uh, just something ever so small can really kind of add a little bit to it. All right. And then over here, 
I think that's probably good right there. Um, you know, just make sure the thing has, you know, a little bit of character to it, a little 3D-ness to it, you know, just try to add a few pieces there so it's not just a flat plane. Um, like right here, this section right here looks super blank. So uh, let's do one over here. Let's do it of a decent size so it um, kind of goes above right here. So we'll just kind of work it in here, get it all in there. Nice, this is gonna look really good. There we go. This just adds that really unique kind of original element to the house and I think this is gonna look fantastic. All right, so I built some like little tiny coral reefs at the original um, kind of uh, prototype house. I posted that on Facebook, I believe, and that's when you guys were like, yeah, build it, Scar. And um, it, uh, it didn't look this good. You know, I think this came out pretty good. They were a lot smaller in nature, but these ones are pretty good in size. And so look at that. Just look at the depth we've created there now. Look at how much better that looks, having that one just off a little bit there. Looking super snazzy. All right, good, I love it. All right, let's let's uh, let's work on this one a little bit here. Let's try to incorporate this runoff of the coral into this design right here. So we can kind of you know, bring that up maybe a little bit. There we go. And then we can kind of cut back a little bit there. Bring that back. Um, yeah, that looks good. Excellent, excellent. There we go. See how that kind of incorporates itself into that one. I think that looks really cool. Now down here, it's a little scrawny. So let's actually knock that down. That created, made that one actually look a little bit bigger. So we can come down here and add just a little bit more detail. Looks like it's kind of running down. Awesome, that looks way better than the hat. That looks really good. Uh, I still feel like one's necessary here, but I just don't want to overpower it. So maybe just something really subtle like that. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Just something real subtle like that really kind of opens up that spot. Um, do we want to incorporate a little bit more of color? Yeah, let's incorporate just a little bit of the cookies and cream coral there. Nice, and just incorporate one more block right there. Excellent, okay. And then um, over here needs just a little bit of work. I like to put some of the white blocks um, under it like so. It just kind of has a nice little look right there. Looks good, looks great, okay. Well, there we go. Well, look at that, guys. Look at our cool little front yard we've built here. Looking super snazzy. And um, yeah, so if you're doing this on your on your own there, just have fun with it, you know? Kind of uh, experiment which ones you like, which ones you don't. And um, just don't be afraid to kind of jump in there. If you don't like it, you can always just kind of knock it off. And uh, well, guys, this has been Good Times with Scar, and I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And if you believe the video deserved a rating, that would be much appreciated. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. And then I'm gonna place it here. I was just trying to make sure I have enough room for the bed design that I want to use. There we go. And I'm just gonna go above here also and add two additional windows up on the top. Wonderful, okay. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go bam, bam, and boom, boom, wonderful. And then up here,